Hey, hey, hi, how are ya? It's Crystal again. I'm just coming back with a quick garden and other update going on. Uh, just because I hadn't made a video in a while, so I hope all of you are doing well. And if this bores you, I'm sorry. All of these pine branches came from our trees in front that had dead pine branches. So I took them off, brought them back here. They'll make for good kindling. This right here is the beginning of what's going to eventually be our compost pile. Um, the reason I say the beginning of is because we're going, the screen door that's back there right now, stopping the leaves from hitting the back of the shed is going to be gone. And the whole surrounding of it is going to be different, but at least what we set up temporarily is keeping a lot of it away from the shed and it's giving us a place to concentrate all of the composting at. Um, we're not doing a whole lot of things that could draw in critters because we do have bears in the area who would be like, oh, let me come eat this. This is going to be yummy. And I really don't want a bear in my backyard. So next we have my uh, contraption to keep the deer away from the Josta berry. Which so far is starting to attempt to grow. You can see the shoot at the bottom there um, coming out of the stick. So hopefully in another year or two we'll have beautiful Josta berries back here. And so far the deer haven't messed with it. Obviously we don't want to just leave it the way it is. I'll probably put something else here eventually. And of course all of our ferns. I have been back in the woods and in the general area finding which ones are going to be good for fiddlehead in the spring because, you know, the ostrich ones are best for that. Um, I have to unbury our wild rose bush that's in there <laughs> between the ferns and the... I can't think of the name of it right now. There's another bush tangled in there. It's like hiding all the rose bush. We've kept it pretty clear around here. Going to have to move this stick or sticks, branches, and clear out some more. I don't want to have too many nice thunder. I don't want to have too many uh, ferns right up close to the property line because deer, tick, um, fleas, etc. But my garden at the moment has gone from little old lonely lettuces to some red lettuce growing. We have spinach in both of these drawers that are just seeds at the moment. Um, I will probably be adding glass over that before it starts to rain too badly at the moment. But the deer aren't messing with the red lettuce. We have one, two, three, five tomato plants. One of them is a yellow pear, which is about the size of cherry tomatoes, I think. I haven't tried it yet. And then, of course, beef tomatoes. These three plants right here are eggplant. So, you know, this is all going to be set up a little differently in our container garden in another week or two. Just a little update for you guys. You know, I thought you might be curious and I'm proud of what's going on. So hold on, I got a little bit more information for you. Right here, I've got two different types of peppers. We've got the, uh, it's a golden California wonder sweet pepper, which is going to be like a yellow-ish, orange-ish bell pepper. Oh, here, I'm not even showing it to you because I was too busy looking at it. And then this one are the sweet banana peppers. Got two of those, got four of these, and got four cucumber plants. Love cucumbers. We like um, pickles and cucumbers, so yeah. And then, you know, my mint's doing good. I still have to plant some of these flowers. And all these little butterflies you're seeing everywhere. Hopey put out. My lilac bush is doing wonderfully. It bloomed. It makes me so Hello. happy. Hi, honey. Look at all the dandelions. Yeah, we've got more dandelions we can collect pretty soon, huh? There's so many. Working on the path some more. Uh, so what kind of is that? 
Um, those are the ones that the animals can't eat because it makes their tummies upset. And then this is that bush I planted that has flowers. And I did add to the path, yes. I'm going to add more too, but it's going to rain very, very shortly. Can you hear the thunder? No. Wow. These flowers bloomed. And they're gorgeous. Which is why I just kind of rolled that rock out of the way since the last video out here. Just because, um, yeah. Or was it already rolled out of the way? I don't remember. And this plant, this flower right here, I'm not sure what it is. It's not a dandelion is that I've ever seen. And we have an orange one in the back that's tiny. Can I go show them? Yes, Hope, you will go show them. Well, that was kind of depressing. We went back there and it looks like a deer ate the blossom off of that. But if anybody knows what kind of flower that is, we'd love to know. It would make us so happy. I've got fiddlehead ferns in the yard that are growing that I'm just letting grow. Some in the back too. I just want to make sure that we have more fiddleheads come spring. But yeah, if anybody knows what kind of flower that is, you know, I'd love to know. Yes, baby, the butterfly that you put there looks like he's there. I don't think anybody would have noticed that it wasn't a real butterfly until Mom just said something. <laughs> he is not a real butterfly. No, he is not a real butterfly. You put him there, huh? Oh, your blue one fell down. See? I'm so tired. You gonna fix him while I don't have the camera on? Eventually. Oh, eventually. And then... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Sorry about the pictures of my toes. I moved the screen over here just to make sure that if it does get wet, wet with the rain... Um, my seeds aren't going to go away because of where it's at. <laughs> shouldn't get too wet anyway. Shouldn't flood out my seeds. But I have two different types of watermelon in here. We have zucchini. We have butternut squash. We have spaghetti squash. We have several different types of beans. And we have more things to plant, including carrots. And on my front porch, I have a chive plant. Before it starts storming, though, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful evening or morning or day, however it's going. Bye.